Hey, it's Matt with McGee Farms, and uh, got some Amazon packages in this week. This one, I'm uh, really kind of curious to see how it's going to work out. I've got our uh, Kubota BX2370 tractor, and I actually got these for uh, the LS and some other tractors. But I got looking on uh, online a little bit, especially uh, Facebook. I'm on a couple of uh, different farming and tractor groups and uh, run across these seat covers for uh, certain models of tractors. The BX is one of them and if you've had a tractor for any length of time that's uh, you know one thing you end up running into is the seats tear up, they're expensive, they're kind of a pain to change out. So when I ran across these I'm like well you know if that saves me having to replace a seat, that's uh, that's gonna be great. They were, I think about 30 bucks, 40 bucks, but uh, much cheaper than a seat and much less of a headache. Uh, cause, Cause doing it, if you've ever had to do one, it's not fun. It's not bad, but it's not fun. So I've got this one for the Kubota. We're gonna try to put it on and uh, see how it fits and see what it looks like. So first impressions, taking it out of the packaging, you've got four pieces. Kind of looks like it's faded, the one that I got. I don't, I don't know. It's a, a kind of a strange camouflage pattern, but it uh, matches the Kubota. But like I said, it kind of looks, uh, I don't know if you can tell from the camera, it looks like the color's kind of faded on it. But uh, once we get it on, we'll see maybe, you know, it's just, uh, it's just the coloring how it's supposed to be we've got two pieces for the arms one for each arm that go on and then we got one for the back and one for the seat so we're going to start putting it on let's see how uh, easy they go on and how snug they fit once they're on there all right i got it on actually went on pretty pretty simple wasn't a whole lot the i think the biggest problem is uh with me I've got the sprayer mounted on back, and I've never really put the seat up on the tractor or I've reclined the uh, back part of the seat all the way up, so it was kind of figuring out how to do that, but uh, it, it went on pretty simple. The uh, top, the Velcro didn't kind of go as tight as I thought it should, but I mean, it's it seems like it's on there okay. Uh, left it kind of kind of tilted up a little bit because I did want to show, and I do like this, it's got some pockets back here. You want to keep some tools with you. You keep some tools in there. Let me, uh, hold on a second. There we go. Put the seat back, kind of see what it uh, looks like. Definitely gives the, uh, the BX tractor a little bit of a different look there. I'll, I'll give it that. I kind of like it, a little different. We're going to test it out. And over the next year or two, I guess uh, you'll kind of see how it holds up. And the main thing, like I said, I, I hate replacing seats on tractors. They're expensive. They're a pain in the butt to do. So hopefully putting this on will keep me from having to do this, keep me from having tears in them. I've got one for my LS tractor that's on the way too. I'll make a video of that when it comes in. But And I'll put a link to the, uh, the seat for the BX tractor at the bottom of the page if... You know, anybody's interested, wants to look it up on Amazon, uh, you can just uh, go to the description and the link should be in there where you can just click on it. It's Matt from McGee Farms. If you like the videos, and I, I hope you do, please consider giving us a thumbs up, uh, leaving us a uh, comment, or uh, following the page. It's always appreciated. It helps out the channel, and uh, it's just, uh, just always appreciated to know someone else is is watching and enjoying it as much as we enjoy making them. Till next time, have a great day.